Hey YouTube, Shook and Shubby here with a review of the Power Rangers Megaforce 4 inch Rack Logie and Robo Knight figures. This is essentially Wave 2. Uh, long story short, Wave 1 was the five main Rangers. Uh, it being a new line, stores stocked up on it. A lot of stores were already backed up with Super Samurai figures from the late wave, the Super Mega Modes and stuff like that. So when it came time for Wave 2, no stores ordered any. And when it came time to order new ones, they were on the Wave 3 assortment already. Which was the Metallic Force figures we took a look at already. So these were essentially lost. Thankfully, Robo Knight was in the Metallic Force Wave, so he was kind of readily easily to find. These two, gone. Kaputs. Um, thankfully, they started popping up at CVS's. At the time of this recording, they have not been found at Walgreens, Rite Aid, uh, Big Lots, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, anything like that. Those pharmacies or discount stores. Only CVS. Uh, which is kind of weird. But Walgreens has actually a very impressive toy selection. So I'm really surprised they weren't found there. But they were found at CVS. So what can you do? Uh, but it, it was unusual to say the least. But um, thankfully I hunted around. I did find a loogie at one of the CVS's not too far away from me. But after hitting up pretty much every CVS in a half hour radius uh, from my house, still reckless. Thankfully, fellow Power Rangers nerd and uh, toy reviewer Linear Ranger was able to have some extra, and I purchased one from him. So thank you a bunch, Linear Ranger, for making this review possible, running a pretty fantastic website, and uh, being all around cool and selling this to me. So huge, huge thanks for making this review possible. So, on to the review. We'll go ahead and start with uh, Vrak here. Uh, very impressive, actually. Particularly up here in the head. Uh, just looks very nice. The face is beyond accurate, and it's kind of creepy that it was that accurate on a 4 inch scale. So, very nice. Back here, it's very bland. Uh, it's got a lot of sculpted detail. Unfortunately, it's not painted at all, so it kind of gets lost. Now, if you're going to do a black wash on it, then you could probably actually get a very fantastic looking figure out of this. As it stands, uh, his articulation actually isn't really all too hindered. These um, shoulder pads actually move, and I had that problem with that one popping off before. But it uh, slides right back on. So like I said, uh, all the main points of articulation are here, right at the elbow, right up at the shoulder. Now this little robe piece right up here is going to get in the way. Can't really go forward and can't really go backwards because he's got a butt flap but he does however have the articulation in the leg so all the articulations there it's a little bit hindered but it, it is all there so unlike Goldar and I think one other guy I don't remember who it was they got really crap articulation for his figure uh, Vrak is fully detailed and ready to go so he's got his little staff weapon there and he's all neat and ready to do stuff so pretty cool uh, on to the loogie uh, Lugi is basically just like a ranger figure. Articulation, 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 articulation. Vrak's head moves too. Uh, but yeah, that's really um, about it for the Lugi in terms of design. I mean, on the back he's just, he's got a little bit of paint back there, so that's impressive, I guess. But uh, he has this little blade weapon, and it kind of wiggles around in his hand. He can't hold it very tight. Poor guy. But, uh, yeah, not not a bad figure. The Lugies are just kind of very plain on design. So, can't really fault them too bad. does come with a giant Zombat. Zombats! So, um, that was a podcast reference, if you were confused. But, uh, yeah, so, here is this giant Zombat, which is like ten times the size of an actual Zombat in the show. They don't exist. But uh, it can kind of serve multi-purposes here. There's a peg on his back, so you can peg it in right there. And now he's got wings. Technically, he's just got a zombat on his back. But he's got wings, so he can fly around and stuff. Or you can swing it around, pop him into the pegs on his feet, and now he's flying on a zombat, which is a new Olympic sport last I checked. Zombat flying. So now he can fly around on a Zombat and stuff. I just find it easier to pose him like this because it gives him a lot of stability. So there we go with the Lugie. And we took a look at Robo Knight already. But uh, here he is again. 
Love the Robo Knight 4 inch figure. Uh, so much to where I could contemplate picking up that six pack again just to get that card, which is really stupid. But um, just to. This is a fantastic figure. No waist articulation, but I don't think any of them do. But you get full rotation here, articulation up at the shoulder. Like I said in the Metallic Force review, this shoulder pad does get in the way of his horizontal articulation. But there's enough there to get by. And uh, I, I just love the way that this ends up looking. Uh, his Leon cellular is on its side. I think that's accurate. I think. But um, just an all-around fantastic looking figure. And you have the Leon laser or the Lion laser or Robo laser. I don't remember what it's actually called. But you have that in the gun mode and the sword mode. So either way. You are ready to go, but um, I love the Robo Knight figure a ton. I love Gosei Knight's design, so I love Robo Knight's design because they're the same thing. Uh, and it actually scales to a very, very nice 4-inch figure. And uh, I, I like the figure art a lot more, but in terms of just a little figure to tote around with you, very, very cool and looks great on a shelf. And here are the three power cards that come with these figures. Vrak P67, Lugi. P66 and Robo Knight P62. Robo Knight we saw already, but I will do it again. Vrak and Lugi, as you can see, have the same exact barcode, so I'm only going to do one. I'm going to do Vrak because he's fabulous. Force Morpher. So just like Lord Zed and all the other villains, you get a sound, very unthrilling. And then the Robo Knight sound, just because it is awesome. There we go. So like I said before, Robo Knight is pretty easy to find because he's in the Metallic Force wave, and those are popping up at pretty much every retailer as of now. So he shouldn't be too hard to find, plus you can find him at CVS's too. One right down by my house had a Robo Knight. These two are a lot harder to find. A lot of areas are getting a ton of them. I know a uh, fellow Power Ranger nerd, Rez, uh, was able to find a whole bunch of them. Me? I only found one Lugie within a half mile radius of my entire house. So it's kind of a regional thing. Some will be profitable, some won't. Uh, but like I said, huge thanks to Linear Ranger for selling me a rack. I really so appreciate very it. very cool figures. Like I said, these two are gems. The Lugie, he's a Lugie, really. I mean, it's not a bad figure. The Lugies are just really stupid looking, I think. But Vrak's awesome, and the Robo Knight is absolutely a fantastic figure. Definitely worth the pickups on all three of these guys. And uh, very cool releases overall. So uh, here's to our next wave, which I think is just the Metallic Lost Galaxy Ranger, I think. But hopefully he doesn't get pushed to CVS. He probably will. Poor guy. No one likes Leo anyway. I'm sure they do. Someone out there. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, be sure to check out shukenshobi.com for this update to my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles, the podcast for the latest token news in the greatest way possible. And of course, uh, good luck in the CVS hunting. You're going to need it. Take care and have a great one. Bye.